So since these two have the same base, we can change this to be x to the 3 minus 2, or subtract. So in other words, we have 12 over 8x. What you might also notice about 12 and 8 is these can be simplified. If you divide them by 4, you have 3 over 2x. When you have fractional exponents, you always take the denominator as the root and the numerator as the power. Since 3x times 3x is 9x squared, when you take the square root of this, you get 3x. If we thought of this as something like x over x squared, you could also think of this as x over x times x, and one of these would cancel out, and you can be left with 1 over x. Our x here is x plus 2, so 1 over x plus 2 is the answer. First, we'll do this part where we take power to a power, so we take 3 fourths times 3 halves, which is 9 eighths. Now, if we have y to the 1 eighth, multiply by y to the 9 eighths, we can just add those, and we have y to the 10 eighths. We can simplify this as y to the power of 5 fourths, and then the denominator is always the root, and the numerator is the power. So you can think of it as distributing s over t to each of these terms, and then you'll have s squared over t for the one, and you'll have st or minus st over t for the other, and these cancel out, so it's just minus s. So we have s squared over t minus s. So the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So if I plug in 1 over 5 times 5 to the 0 plus 4, well, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is 525. If I divide that by 5, I have 125. Which one shows 125 as a constant or coefficient? The only one that I see it in is A. So normally I would take the fourth root of 9 cubed, but I don't see that as an answer. So I'm going to try with a different base. Let's try 3 squared to the 3 fourths, power to a power. This is 3 to the 6 fourths, or 3 to the 3 halves. So if I take the square root of 3 cubed, I can also write this as the square root of 3 squared times the square root of 3, because the square root of 3 squared is just 3, and the only thing left is root 3. So in other words, when you find a perfect square underneath the radical that's a factor, you can pull it out. And that's what we do here. So remember that the root is the denominator and the power is the numerator. So if I looked at f, I have 3 as the denominator and I have 6a as the numerator. And then if I look at k, I have 3 as the denominator and 2 as the numerator. So 6 over 3 simplifies as 2 and there's my answer. So if I apply the 1 half to each of these, that's x to the 2 over 2, y to the 3 over 2, x to the 2 over 3, y to the 3 over 3. So that's x, and that's y 3 halves, and that's x 2 thirds, and that's y. I guess it would be more beneficial to think of this as 3 over 3, and this as 2 over 2. That way, when I add together my exponents for here, I get 5 over 3. And when I add together my exponents here, I get 5 over 2. So a is 5. The y-intercept of this graph, that means when x is equal to 0. So I'm going to plug that in. Anything raised to the power of 0 is going to be equal 1. 
So my x was 0, my, my y is 1.